On Valentine's Day, Joel Barish, as usual, is going to work, but at the last minute, standing at the Long Island station, he decides that he needs to change his route. Returning by train from Montauk to Rockville Center, he meets a blue-haired girl Clementine Kruczynski. Talking, they realize that they have a lot of common facts from their biography. For example, Joel often goes to the bookstore where Clementine works as a cashier. Then the action moves to the near past. Joel, a dreamy melancholic, meets the cheerful and debonair Clementine. Their life is a fireworks of bright events, but gradually the relationship begins to deteriorate and after a big scandal Clementine leaves Joel. After some time Joel comes to her in the store to apologize, but to his surprise Clementine does not recognize him, but nicely talks with some Patrick, referring to Joel as a stranger. This fact is very surprising to Joel, until their common friends with Clementine do not show him a card notice from some company Lacuna, which says that Clementine erased Joel from her memory and they are asked not to mention his name in her presence. Joel finds out that the company Lacuna really provides services for erasing some memories and that Clementine really erased all memory of him, not being able to bear the break. On the morning of February 12th, Joel arrives at Lacuna, to answer Clementine the same and erase all memories of her. Dr. Howard Mearsviak makes a map of Joel's memories, for which he brings absolutely all the items from his environment that would somehow remind him of Clementine. Having made a map of memories, Joel is sent home to wait for the arrival of technicians, Stan and Patrick, who in home conditions will have to perform the procedure of erasing memories. Following the instructions, Joel drinks a special medicine that puts him to sleep so that he does not remember the technician's erasers. In his subconscious mind Joel actively resists erasing memories, which is in a movie scroll one after another in his head, causing nostalgia and sadness. Joel relives one after another romantic dates with Clementine, who in his subconscious actively helps him fight erasure, she pursues him in memories and even pushes for some tricks. And while the process of erasing memories is going on, from the dialogue of Patrick and Stan it becomes clear that Patrick, with whom Clementine talked in the store when Joel came there, is one of the technicians, when he conducted a similar procedure of erasing over Clementine, he fell in love with her. Later they are joined by Mary, secretary of Dr. Mearsviak. Suddenly, an excited Clementine calls Patrick and asks him to urgently come to her. He breaks off and leaves Stan with Mary in Joel's apartment. Arriving at Clementine's place, Patrick finds out that he messed up, starting a romance with Clementine. He did not find anything better than to use for this purpose brought by Joel in lacuna things that were associated with him with Clementine. However, Clementine's map of those same memories about Joel was made up of other items, because of which the girl starts a frightening feeling of deja vu, and she is on the verge of breaking up with Patrick. Mary and Stan retire and eventually do not notice that the process of erasing memories went wrong. Joel manages to transfer Clementine to his childhood memories, from which it is impossible to erase her, because these memories are not included in the compiled map. As soon as Stan discovers the problem, he immediately calls Dr. Mearsviak. He arrives, and finally the problem is solved, all traces of memories about Clementine are erased from Joel's brain. Stan leaves the room, leaving Mary and Dr. Mearsviak alone. Mary confesses her love to the doctor, but he asks her not to voice any more confessions, but she kisses him on the lips and witness of the kiss accidentally becomes his wife, who saw it all through the window. Mary apologizes to doctor's wife Mearsviak however she does unexpectedly and asks Mearsviak to confess everything. It turns out that Mary is not for the first time trying to get closer to the doctor and she also underwent erasing memories about her feelings for him. Mary realizes that even technology lacuna cannot erase from memory such a thing as love. Valentine's Day, Clementine going to go to Joel's place stopped by her house for a toothbrush and found her envelope from Mary in which there was an audio cassette with her voice and all the details on the case of erasing memories related to her. Joel hears her confession, it was made in quite sharp tones, asks Clementine to leave him and leaves, upset by the angry words of Clementine in his address, believing that it is some kind of silly and rude joke. Clementine listens to the tape at home and comes to the conclusion that they had a romance. Clementine eventually decides to apologize to him, enters his apartment at the moment when he listens to exactly the same tape with his confession. Having listened to the tape with Joel's confession, in which he revealed all her vices and negative sides, she realizes that the end of their romance was quite sad, since Joel allowed himself to speak in such a way. Faced with the fact that they were madly in love, and then could not stand each other, 
Clementine and Joel decide to start all over again. Did you enjoy the movie? If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more movie summaries. We will do our best to bring you a new summary every day, so stay tuned and don't miss out. Thank you for watching and see you next time.